Hi, in this video I will show you how you can extend your uh, images and also create a parallax. So first off I'm gonna generate my background image. I want a beautiful meadow but of course you can do anything else. When it comes to the text prompt you want to use, I personally like using very short ones but you can do long ones as well. But what's good to note is that once you have generated, you can then use your generation as a init image to further improve on it. So what I did here, because I felt like the um, the colors weren't perfect, I would control Z a bit back, I undoed, and then I used that as my init image for my next generation. So now I got a much clearer image. Now I'm going to use the canvas size, I'm going to resize the uh, canvas and then I will use the inpainting tool to uh, inpaint and extend the uh, image. And here it is important to have a part of the image of the previous one and what you want to extend and make sure that you draw in the inpainting layer. So here I'm using the uh, square tool to uh, make the part I want to inpaint black and now the model takes the image on the left and generates something that fits it on the right and uh, what I forgot to do here is turn off a transparent background so it has more steps at the end and so it's not going to do anything now, uh, which is why I'm going to make sure to turn off transparent background now. But yeah, I'm going to use this uh, image here as my init image as before, but I'm just going to fix a bit in the background where, the, uh, where I think the model can make some improvements. And because I'm using this as an init image now, the model will... Uh, understand what I want uh, to happen in the uh, in the background and of course you can do it like the, uh, the in painting and extending your image on all corners and you can just continue doing so further and further you can also do tricks with the generate large image once you have an init image to maybe do better stuff if you think the generate large image is better at uh, creating images Now, because I want to create a parallax, I'm gonna extend the canvas here, uh, copy paste the right side over to the left side, and then in paint in between. And yeah, then we have created a parallax, and of course, now I created quite a small one, but you can, of course, create, well, infinitely large one if you, if that's what you want, you know. Thank you for watching, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them here or on Discord.